Welcome to a new Draw My Life video. Welcome to a new Scary Tuesday. Sleeping is a fundamental part of our life, a biological need that allows us to re-establish the essential physical and psychological functions for a full performance. Sleep has been and still is one of the biggest enigmas in scientific research, and nowadays we still have great doubts about it. Throughout history, science has always tried to solve the mysteries behind sleep. Today, we're going to tell you about one of those tries. During the late 40s, after the end of World War II, people say there was a group of scientists that carried out a dark and cruel research about sleep, known as the Russian Sleep Experiment. We're going to tell you about it today. They were trying out a new experimental gas, which was supposed to eradicate humans' need to sleep. In order to try it, researchers kept five people awake for 15 days using a nerve bone stimulant. The subjects they were experimenting with were political prisoners. They were locked in a sealed chamber, where the researchers could monitor them. The room was full of books. There were blankets but no beds, water, a toilet and big quantities of smoked food. There were microphones and an opaque window to collect the results. The prisoners were fine for the first five days, talking to each other, relaxed. Researchers had promised they'd be released after the experiment. But from the fifth day onwards, all their conversations turned turbid and they started to complain. The subjects started to suspect one another and act in a strange way. Researchers considered their behavior was a result of the experimental gas. On the ninth day, one of the subjects started to scream for three hours. When he kept silent, researchers found out he had cut his vocal cords. A second subject started to scream. He screamed and screamed while the others, whispering, grabbed the books and got their own feces on the pages, and they put the map on the walls. Suddenly, the screams stopped, as well as the whispers from the others. Three days later, the researchers, since they couldn't hear anything, decided to check the microphones and see if they were working. They were totally fine. They decided to do something unplanned. They told them they were gonna open the room. They threatened them, saying they'd shoot if they tried to do anything, and they promised they'd free one of them if they followed their orders. But to their surprise, they heard a calm answer. We no longer want to be freed. In the end, they decided to open the door on the 15th day at midnight. The researchers went into the room. The subjects were screaming desperately, and only four of them were still alive. They saw, terrified, that the subjects had great part of their muscles and skin pulled out of their bodies. They had pulled out their own skin and eaten it. When they tried to take them out of the room, they refused to do it and asked to have the experimental gas running again. One of the subjects got hurt during the fight and ended up bleeding to death. The other three prisoners left were transferred to medical institutions. Two of them could still talk and were still asking for the gas. They wanted to stay awake at all costs. One of them, while they were operating on him to reimplant his skin, was screaming, keep cutting. The other two couldn't stop laughing. They only wanted the gas. When they were asked something, they would only say, I must stay awake. The three survivors were sent back to the chamber. After the failure of the experiment, they didn't know what to do with them. They wanted to try and insert the experimental gas on them again. They quickly calmed down. Their brains seemed to be on and off, dying and reviving. One of them lay down in one of the beds, closed his eyes and died right away. There were two left. The researchers went inside, armed. The subjects got upset about it, and they had to shoot one of them. One of the researchers asked a question to the subjects. What are you? We must know. The only subject alive had a chilling smile. He answered, We are you. We are the madness that lurks within you all, begging to be free at every moment in your deepest animal mind. We are what you hide from in your beds every night. We are what you sedate into silence and paralyzes when you go to the nocturnal heaven, where we cannot tread. The researcher paused, then aimed at the prisoner's heart and shot. The subject 
dine only said, so nearly free. There is no evidence or documents about this experiment, and science doesn't explain any of the situations that took place during the experiment. They say it's only a story from an internet forum some years ago. But you, what do you think? <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!